All right, so the brother showed the sauce, right? And it said that their hair were naturally long and black without curl. That doesn't sound like a black person to me. I'm sorry. We curl up. Now, the, the this debate, brother, you were supposed to show that black people are aboriginal to this land. You didn't do it. You didn't show no studies that prove it. All you did was play the comparison game all day. Well, they said people was uh, brown and tarny. That's still not proving it's you. It's not proving you. A young girl remain were found during archaeological excavations of a burial in present day Alaska within a hearth feature dating back to 11,500 years, a community now called Upward Sun River in central Alaska, who was, a, they say the girl was about three years old at the time of her death, which I, I'm not, I can't pronounce her name, but it says, which loosely translates to the Sunrise Girl. With permission from the local indigenous community, researchers sampled the remains for genetic material. Their analysis published in 2018 showed that she was related to contemporary indigenous people. Hold that out. She was part of a previously unknown lineage that split from modern Native Americans about 20,000 years ago. Scientists have sequenced 15 ancient genomes spanning from Alaska, right? Let's keep going. Additionally, a legal battle over, over a 10,600-year-old skeleton called the Spirit Cave Mummy has ended after advanced DNA sequences. So a legal battle. Because y'all always like to say, how you, how, why you can't use this in court and this and that, right? Advanced DNA sequences found it was related to a Native American tribe. Now, show me any source you got that's 10,000 years old. You can't do it. It said the researchers, the researchers were able to dismiss a longstanding theory that a group called Paleo-Americans existed in North America before Native Americans. The Kennewick man, closely related to Native Americans, 8,500-year skeleton found in Washington has been the subject of a new dispute. Now, genetic analysis of the ancient DNA suggests he is an ancestor of present-day Native Americans. We got another one. We conclude that the male infant buried 12,600 years ago, which covered Clovis artifacts, belonged to a meta population from which many contemporary Native Americans are descended and is closely related to all indigenous American populations. See, I'm beating you up with science, not grandma said. So who were the first Americans? Genetic studies suggest that the first Americans arrived in America's descent from an ancestral group of ancient Siberians and East Asians that mingled around 20,000 to 23,000 years ago, right? Studies identify, excuse me, studies identify traces of indigenous Taino and in present day Caribbean populations. A thousand year old tooth has provided genetic evidence that the so-called Taino, the first indigenous Americans to feel the full impact of European colonization, excuse me, after Columbus arrived in the new world, still having living descendants in Caribbean today. So we got DNA, we got archeology, span we got all of this stuff that's proven, all of this evidence that's proven black people are not Aboriginal to America, right? We gotta have some integrity, we gotta. And when you look at the earliest fossils, the earliest documentations and these portrayal and illustrations of these Indians, they're always coming back with Negroid features. Negroid doesn't necessarily mean that they're African. 
Negro it doesn't necessarily mean that they're African, but Negro, but you know, it uh, it 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 uh, it 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 uh, it. it he starts stuttering when he's lying and shit. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Six, 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 money. It goes back to phenotype because there are very distinct characteristics of an African and there are very distinct characteristics of an Indian. Now, I get, you know, African, some African people do look like, you know, American people and huh? American people do like some Africans. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. It goes back to phenotype because there are very distinct characteristics of an African and there are very distinct characteristics of an Indian. It goes back to phenotype because there are very distinct characteristics of an African and there are very distinct characteristics of an Indian. But at the same time, that doesn't make them that person. But at the same time, that doesn't make them that person. But at the same time, that doesn't make them that person. I'll spell it for you. D-U-M-M-Y, period. So if Negro doesn't mean African, it damn sure doesn't mean they are Indian, which means look a shit dies by its own faulty logic. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Right? You can't rely on appearances alone to understand the genetic backgrounds or ancient origins of a group especially one that has changed over thousands of years. For example, the descendants of dark-skinned hunter-gatherers from Western and Central Europe, like Cheddar Man from 10,000 years ago, are now, are now mostly found in the Baltic region among light-skinned Lithuanians and Estoninians, similarly Southeast Asians, Negritos, who may appear African to many, are more closely related to East Asians and Europeans than Black Africans. This shows how misleading appearances can be. You got to hold that L because we got something called convergent evolution, the independent development of similar traits or features as a body structure or behavior in unrelated or distinctively related species or lineages that typically occur, excuse me, typically occupy similar environments. So this is why they have this feature. So look at the color of these people. Yes, they have color, but they are not you. Hold that. You got convergent evolution. Now this is from, go back to where you came from. This is a um, taxonomy and classification. So you got the four races of men. Beginning at the right, the men in the picture are arranged in the same order as the races mentioned in the text. Caucasian, Negro, Mongolian, and American Indian. So if Negro and American Indian was the same, why say Negro and American Indian? I've been beating this boy up all night, bro. You got to have some integrity. You got to, you got to let this aboriginal shit go. I'm showing you, you are not those people. Now, 1869, our new West. The Mexicans are a mulattoish race, an apparent cross between Indians and Negroes. So if Indians and Negroes are the same, why are they saying Indians and Negroes? Yo, stop playing with me, man. Now, this is from... It's another classification, right? Um, mam mammalia primates homos. Now, when you look at this, it shows you what they are. It says, um, I'm giving you a little examples. A fur is a fur, that's Africa, means neg black or sable. So all of these things are showing you're not those people. More um looker shit. Look at these people, they got the features of those people, right? Hold that L. Look at his features. Got the features of those people. If you want to do the looker shit, we could do the looker shit all night. Look at the Lenape. This is a, a painting. Look at the features. Yeah, they got a little bit of pigmentation. But uh, is this you, soldier boy? Six minutes and 30 seconds. Six minutes. And 30. 
This is John White, illustration of an Algonquin. This you, A1? This you, Ahanu? Yeah, that's you. You the, you the Algonquin, right? Whole lot. This is a pot Apache man who would be dark-skinned. Is he a black person? Nope. Checkmate. Let's play the looker shit. Omax and mixed Mexicans. Light skin may be legacy of Native American ancestors. Walking down a busy street in most Latin American cities today, and you'll see a palette of skin colors from dark brown to sepia to cream. For 500 years, people have assumed this variation comes from meeting and mixing of Native Americans, Europeans, and Africans during colonial times. People with lighter skin are thought to have more European ancestry, whereas those with darker skin are to have more Native American or African ancestry. So we know they're going to have some type of similarity with color, but you're still not proving it's you. I don't think you understand what I'm saying here. You're still not proving it's your, you. You stuck at step one. You stuck at observation. You stuck there. That's why, that's what you've been showing all night. And I'm beating you up with your own sh look of shit and sources. So let's get to it. Physical characteristics. This is an inquiry into the distinctive characteristics of the Aboriginal race of America. 1799s, 1851. It says, those of the Great Valley of the Mississippi and those again which the skirts the Eskimo on the north all possess alike the long, lank black hair and brown or cinnamon color. See, y'all all fell with the hair. See, y'all might have got away with it if they didn't have hair that looked it like, you know, a horse. See, look at this guy. Even he looks like he got pigmentation. North American Indians right here. Zanzibar. Look at your brother OTK. He looks straight out the Congo. Look at him and look at all of these other Africans right there. And this nigga don't think he African. Stop playing with me, man. Now let's go to Negro Mania, 1851. Now it says, uh, the recently born infants are a reddish brown color, which after a while, after a while becomes whiter. Oops. And then gradually assumes that tent, which is not perfectly uniform amongst all the Indians, which for one of better approximation, we call copper color. So are you copper color? Or are you black? The nature of the hair is perhaps one of the most permanent characteristics of different races. The hair of the Negro has been termed woolly. Stop playing with me, man. You want to talk about California Indians? Yeah. I told you I was going to have your whole arguments mapped out. Right? I do this. American Indians. It says they were of medium statue, awkwardly shaped, with scrawny limbs. They looked they had dull faces with fat and round noses and look much like Negroes. So if you look like a Negro, you can't be the Negro. If they're comparing you to that person, this is common sense. But look at the hair, though. Look at the hair, though. The natural color is dark inclining to copper color, right? Wherein they differ from mulattoes. Now, let's look at the hair. The inhabitants have jet black hair, harsh like horse hair. They are broad shoulder, small waist. Look at that. They have a beard, no beard. We got a beard. Long hair. This is a painting from 1591. Did you show any paintings? Did you show what they look like? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You showed this. But look, it still says that you're an African. Because if I look at you and I look at the person on the top, he's going to look more like you than the person number five, the Indian. Stop playing, man, with this looker stuff. Now it says right here, this is from the history and travel into Virginia, right? It says, their hair is black, gross, long, and thick. 
The men have no beards. Their noses are broadly flat and full at the end. Lips, great big lips, wide mouths, yet nothing so uns unsightly as the Moors, Africans. Stop playing. Now, let's go right here because I had to show something. All right, let's look at this. Anybody can go dreads because y'all like to show the little um, um, Mayans with dreads and shit. Now, this is a fig. A first figure evidence comes from Greece and dates back to similar periods as the Vita texts. So it said they had dreadlocks back then. We saw dreadlocks in creation, God. Anybody can grow dreadlocks just by stop, stopping combing. This applies to any ethnicity in any hair type. Hold that one. Y'all want to talk about the food we eat and all oh, these Africans, they eat. Look at the people in Brazil. This is from 1594, Theodore the Bride. They was eating people, bruh. You want to talk about monkey brains? Mm, you, they even had the little babies out there eating that. Look at the babies. This is in Brazil. Mm, got them. Who first discovered, discovered America? It said, pre-Columbian statues depicting bearded men are to him important evidence as the agents. The typical of American Indian had little or no facial hair. This is cross-referencing. Cross-referencing. We could do this all night. This is Verrazano. Well, he brought up Verrazano. It said they, they, they are dark color, not much unlike the Ethiopians. 